Welcome back to the weekend edition. The coronavirus has forced a large number of social gatherings to either be canceled or reduced to 10 people or less. Today was supposed to be a very special day in the lives of a young couple who had to put their dream wedding on hold. Bride to be Kanisha Pinder and her fiance Sanchez. Sanchez Morley, rather, joins us live in studio tonight. Kanisha and Sanchez, welcome to the Weekend Edition. Thank, Thank you. you. So, uh, Kanisha and Sanchez, talk to me a little bit about your, your, I guess this is your wedding day. Talk to me about the dream wedding that you had planned that's now being dashed. Uh, we had a wedding planned for about 240 guests. And due to the Prime Minister's decision um, to have um, if you continue to go on with your wedding, you would have to reduce the number to about 10 guests. Um, so we decided to postpone the wedding, seeing that we had so much persons RSVP'd, the 240 guests, and our bridal party, our bridal party alone was more than the 10. So how much money can you say you guys would have been spending on your wedding today? Uh, right now, with um, decorations, I'd say, uh, attire, rings, everything, be somewhere around with 25K, somewhere around that. Mm -hmm. And what, what was actually in your contract? Are you guys going to be reimbursed um, as a result of canceling your wedding today? Um, uh, well, through the grace of God, we was awarded the chance where most of our contracts, they would hold on to it for us, you know, award us to reschedule and come back on another date without no penalties being... 25K is a lot of money, but what about relatives who uh, have already made uh, travel arrangements to, I guess, attend your wedding today? Well, well, my parents, they flew in from Abaco already. Thursday was supposed to be our rehearsal, so I had my parents came in from Thursday morning, a bridesmaid who, fly, who flew in, um, his brothers who came in from Texas, we had other family members who have made plans and arrangements to fly in from Abaco as well. Well, they were supposed to come in today. I'm not sure what's going to happen with their um, arrangements, their flight arrangements. But yeah. 25K and more money is going to be spent. So are you and your fiance going to settle for a small wedding or are you guys planning to have or set a new date? Uh, we're going to plan to set a new date. Not sure when as yet, but we're going to have to fill the wood bank yeah. as, as we plan to. I guess once the government left the curfew, then we'd be able to make a decision on when we could do it. What time was your wedding expected to take place today? And do you think that if you guys would have went ahead with the wedding, would the curfew had impacted the reception? Uh, the wedding was supposed to start at 2 o'clock, which in meaning at probably 3, 4, we'd have been just starting the reception. So 9 o'clock would have kind of embarked us in a big way, probably limiting us to uh, probably just a few hours to, uh, for our reception. Kanisha and Sanchez, thank you guys so much for joining us here on the Weekend Edition, and we hope you and your future husband get the wedding, wedding of your dreams.